Operator Services terminate south of Danbury. Contact them, 119.4. 19.4, thanks for all the help. We're going to come back. Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics. This can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Danbury Municipal is a small to medium-sized, primarily corporate and general aviation airport located southwest of the city of Danbury, Connecticut. While the bulk of the traffic is general aviation, it does have some jet air taxi operations, as well as a number of flight schools offering fixed and rotor wing instruction. This mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability makes Danbury a complex and interesting place to work and fly. The airport configuration consists of two intersecting runways, 826 and 1735. Full-length parallel taxiways are found on either side of both runways. This taxiway system provides access to all services, hangars, and the numerous FBOs located in all four quadrants of the field. Arriving at Danbury for the first time, pilots may notice that the airport is located in a bowl with higher terrain all around. When arriving from the south, pilots need to be aware that radio communications may be a little difficult due to line of sight issues with VHF radios. As a general awareness rule, if you are having difficulty hearing the ATIS broadcast, you may also have a difficult time communicating with the tower. Maintaining a slightly higher altitude until closer to the airport may help with this issue. When arriving at night, pilots need to be aware that the airport beacon is not located on the airport, but on a small hill to the south. Day or night, if you are having difficulty locating the airport, advise the tower. They will help you find it. Pilots assigned runway 35 for landing must also be aware that the final approach course for that runway lies along a valley in between two hills. A major highway in the bottom of the valley provides a convenient lead-in to the approach end of the runway. Due to terrain, turbulence may be experienced in some weather conditions. Additional vigilance is required while making this approach. In addition to the terrain, pilots should be aware of the numerous tall light poles that surround the airport. It is especially important that pilots be aware of these light poles while on approach to runway 26. Hotspot 1 is located on the east end of the airport and encompasses the city run-up area and taxiways Romeo, Alpha, and Alpha 5. There are parallel taxiways between the run-up area and the FBO ramp, located north of the approach end of runway 26. The entrance to the FBO ramp is a single taxiway and is a possible area of congestion for aircraft ingress and egress from the FBO. In addition, the standard procedure for aircraft completing their run-up and ready for departure on runway 26 is to utilize the westernmost end of the area and make a left turn on taxiway Alpha, hold short of runway 26. This may seem to be the long way around, but it is designed to keep congestion to a minimum. Pilots need to also be aware that, due to runway safety area requirements and the displaced threshold for runway 26, the hold short line is located on taxiway Alpha and at a considerable distance from where pilots would ordinarily expect. For this reason, the opportunity for pilot confusion exists. Do not be surprised if the tower issues progressive taxi instructions, especially to itinerant aircraft. Cessna 6260 here at Danbury Ground, runway 26, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha, cross runway 35. Hotspot 2 is located on Taxiway Delta nearing the approach end of Runway 17. This is a non-visibility area from the tower. To mitigate this situation, the airport has installed a camera to provide controllers with a view of traffic in this area. However, due to weather or technical issues, this camera may not be operating or useful at all times, and so pilots should assume that the non-visibility factor is always considered in this area. Tower may ask for more accurate position reports under these conditions. 
Hotspots 3 and 4, located on Taxiway Charlie between Charlie 4 and Bravo, concern the same issue. There is a large ramp area utilized by several FBOs in the southeast quadrant of the airport. There is no dedicated run-up area for this portion of the field. Aircraft coming out of this ramp will sometimes do their run-ups on Taxiway Charlie, creating congestion. Again, runway surface area requirements call for the hold short markings to be located a considerable distance back from the approach end of runway 26. The location of the hold lines and the need to run up on the taxiway leads to congestion issues in both hotspot locations. One last note of caution concerns aircraft landing runway 8 and rolling to the end or turning on taxiway Charlie 4. The number of aircraft entering and departing the southeast ramp area can make taxiing to your destination challenging. If this or any taxi instruction ever becomes confusing or unclear, the easiest thing to do is to ask the tower. They are there to help and would rather make an extra transmission or two and avoid a costly or catastrophic mistake. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Danbury, will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Danbury Municipal Airport. It's always better to know before you go.